job update time. <laughs> oh god. So I've had about four-ish job interviews so far. And I've been asked to do some pretty interesting tasks. So one of them was obviously to rank those news stories, which got me thinking about news values. Didn't wind up getting that job because apparently I wasn't as well suited for the role, which annoys me because again, it's like entry level role and I have a ton of experience. How does that work? But you know, to each their own. And we had another job interview with a news agency. And if you don't know what a news agency is, Basically, they just do some journalism and sell it on to other bigger publications because they can't cover everything. And within f the first two minutes of that interview, I'd say that we both kind of realized we weren't right for each other. The interview still continued and it was still relatively polite, but fairly early on, he could tell I wasn't right for the role. And I just knew instantly, like, this ain't going to work. So that was a no-go. And... A thing that kept coming back up was the fact I don't have an NCTJ and if you don't know what that is, that is a standardized qualification in journalism that you can get with or without a degree and it basically just is a whole set of like tests and assessments in a portfolio that effectively just certifies that you can do certain key aspects of journalism to a very high standard because there are a lot of jobs that I'm looking at that in theory I'm able to do. Like on paper, I am able to do based on my experience, my degrees, all that. But because I don't have the NCTJ, they're just not going to even look at my application. And that's been a bit of a harsh reality to have. NCTJ is the accreditation of the individual journalist ability. The BJTC is the accreditation that this broadcast course is up to a certain standard. So hopefully that makes sense. And I haven't just jargoned you to death. Honestly, that's been a bit rough, realizing that no matter how much experience I have, if I don't have that one qualification, there'll be some places that won't look at me at the entry level. This last job interview I had, I feel confident about the interview itself. Or well, last two job interviews I've had have been business to business roles. And that is basically reporting on stories for a specific publication that only gets read and consumed by people within that industry who actively work in that industry. So a subscription base. So let's say it was about tech. It will be for a tech magazine or a tech newsletter that only goes out to certain tech companies that subscribe to that newsletter so it can better inform them about the goings on of their industry and help them make or not make certain decisions. And that's really cool because it's specialist knowledge. But the issue I'm having with business to business jobs is essentially the fact that I'm worried I won't be able to get into consumer journalism, like regular journalism again. Like once I do it, I'm stuck. That's my main worry at the moment. Even though I don't think that's actually quite true because ultimately people get into journalism through all different angles, all different ways of getting in. And don't get me wrong, it's still a nerve wracking feeling because I've worked for so many years to get here. but. I just feel like it's an irrational fear that I have at the moment that the more I get somewhere with certain jobs or don't get somewhere with other jobs, I worry about it more and more because I just don't want to be stuck anywhere this early in my career. I want to get somewhere where I can grow and I can develop my skills as a journalist because I know that's what I want to do because for me it was always deeper than money. Not that money wasn't important, but logically I knew money and enough money to live the way I want to live was going to be there fairly soon if I took certain steps. So going back to these interviews, they went really well. They both publications liked me so far. Um, both of them thought I was pretty good overall and just wanted to take my application further. One of them sent me a writing task I need to complete fairly soon. And yeah, it's been it's been an interesting journey so far, first few weeks, but it's been a good learning curve as well because ultimately I've just kind of learned where I would go wrong in interviews without realizing. So my main thing is just not having enough knowledge of the individual publication. And I've noticed for the interviews I've done quite well, I've just made sure the night before that I did a quick Google search about the publication, some basic statistics, one or two recent reports about that industry or about the publication 
and through doing that it just gave me more to talk about even if it's just an initial interview it made me come across more impressive so i know that's something i'm going to do going forward and ultimately i'm not worried about getting a job like i know i can do that i know that's going to happen but it's just getting a job that i know i'm happy enough to do because i can see the progress of how i'm going to move to truly make my career where i want it to be so yeah hopefully that is a worthwhile job update for all of you because it's been a long journey but i can feel it i almost i can tell i'm almost there it's just a matter of pushing through